Either you can come back to school completely unchanged or you can pull back to school and a Tesla completely muscular. You can literally have everything that you want. You can be that kind of person that you want to be. You can literally be him. But there's one thing that you have to sacrifice in order to do that. And I want to talk to you about that in this video. I want to begin this video by asking what you really want, because if you're not the kind of person that I'm making this video for, then you really shouldn't watch it. So this video is for a kind of person who will stop at nothing to achieve their goals. It's the kind of person who really wants their goals more than anything else in the world. They want their goals so much that they would sacrifice so many things to get it, including their summer. And that's the point of this video. There's something that you need to do to get to your goals. And it's something that most people aren't willing to give up. And that is time, time to do fun things, time to waste time playing video games, you know, all the kind of stuff that you hear in these kinds of videos. And they're not actually willing to give that up. They're not willing to give up the fun time that their summer provides. When summer can be a time of opportunity, when if you really wanted to, you could turn up in a Tesla to school and yet you choose not to. I've seen it happen. I've seen people go from zero to 10K per month in three months. And I can see you doing it in the future. I can see anyone doing it in the future if you really put your mind to it and if you really put your time to it. Because during this summer, it's very difficult to spend time in the proper way. I've seen it happen with, with, with one of my clients. Of course, I'm not going to say his name. But at the very beginning of this year during school, he was very passionate. He was very driven. He was going at his goals like nobody else, almost to my level of just discipline, pushing hard. And then this summer, he completely fell off because he was hanging out with his friends more. And, you know, I don't want to get into that rant about, you know, friends because a very specific kind of friend is fantastic. It's great. But these kinds of friends aren't the most fantastic people in the bucket. And this summer, he just completely fell off. He started doing all the things that he wanted to quit. He started doing all the things that he really wants to get out of his life. And every single time, every single day when he relapses, when he relapses, he understands that it's bad for him. And yet he can't stop. He can't stop. He can't stop because he's utilizing the summer in an improper way. And he completely realizes that he's utilizing the summer in an improper way, but he can't take action to get out of that. I do not want you to get into that trap because it's very difficult to get out of. That period where you spend most of your time relapsing or doing things that detract you away from your goals. Do not get into that trap because it's very difficult to get out of it, especially in a period where you are not held accountable in school. In school, we've got seven hours per day. Now you've got seven hours of free time taken back by you. So what are you going to spend that seven hours doing? Are you going to spend it hanging out with friends all the time? I'm not saying that hanging out with friends is a bad thing. I'm just saying that there's a time and place for that. Are you going to spend that time hanging out with friends all the time? You know, vaping, smoking, whatever, doing all the fun shit that you think about in all those teenage movies. Or are you actually going to push towards that, those goals? Because as I said in my recent video, the very thing that you need to think about during this summer is how can I spend this time that I have taken back? How can I spend this seven hours, 10 hours, of time that is taken back to me because I don't have to worry about school, I don't have to worry about homework. I ha now have the mental capacity to do whatever I want to do because school has taken up such a big ball in my mind and I've been finally able to take that ball out. So how are you going to spend that time? Thinking of trying to make memories during this summer, trying to create nostalgia. And yes, this is where we get into the controversial territory because people say, do not waste your youth, do not waste your youth, do not waste your youth. Bitch, if I wanted to waste my youth, I would spend it doing those habits. I would spend it partying. If I wanted to sp waste my youth, I would spend it doing unproductive shit. If I wanted to make the most of my youthful energy, the most of my vibrance, the most of my speech, of my youthful manner, I would be doing shit like this. I would be making YouTube videos. I would be pushing towards my goals in the hardest way possible. If I look back on my years and I regret them all, I would feel like shit because I didn't waste, spend my perfect summers where I had nothing to do, where I had barely any kind of work to do on something unproductive. When I could have been pushing towards my goals, when I could have been making sure that I was in the best financial position possible going back to school because you can absolutely do it. With all this time you've been given, you can create 
You can schedule your days in a perfect, perfect, perfect way, perfectly just created to push you towards your goals so, so, so quickly. If you want to know how to do that, then check out my latest video. But in order to push towards these goals very, very quickly, you have to schedule your day around that goal. You can create your days in a way that school couldn't make you do because school was taking up all that time, was taking all, up all that mental energy. Now you can spend your entire day thinking about that goal, cultivating that goal, manifesting it into reality. And that's something that these summers give us that I want you to have. And now I know that I've made this title sacrifice this summer, but I don't think you're truly sacrificing it if you actually are pushing towards your goals in the best way possible. I think that you are sacrificing your summer if you are not using that time in the best way possible, if you're being incredibly unproductive, if you're making memories as if being hungover is a great memory to you, throwing up on the streets is a great memory to you. So just think about this after you get click off this video. This might be some 3 a.m. motivation. Most of you are going to go back to your normal lives. I'm going to be posting a video very, very soon about showing the summer progression that I'm going through. So the first video is going to be called Summer Grinds, Episode 1, Initiation. I'm literally, <laughs> this is kind of hard to say because I'm speaking it out to the public, so now I really have to do it. I'm going to be shaving off my entire head and it's just going to be the initiation process and I'm going to share it with you. If you want to copy it, that's great. It's very difficult. I don't think that many of you will be able to do it, but if you can do it, that's fantastic. You're going to benefit a lot from it. So I'm excited to see you there. And if you liked this video, my channel name is him, not because I'm him, but because we're all striving to be him. And hopefully I can help you in that journey just as I did today. So if you like that message, then do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.